All right, the most missed uh, problems from yesterday, the most difficult problems from yesterday's assignment was um, four, five, six, and seven. So we're gonna skip to those. So on number four, it says, what is the slope of the straight line passing through the points on the graph? Um, and you have your answer choices, they're just, they're just giving you the slope value, okay? Um, if you look at this graph, the intervals here that are labeled are by two. So this is two, four, six, eight, and then 10. And the same thing moving vertically, it's two, four, six, eight, 10. All right, and they're asking us to find the slope and you see that they've already given us, um, they've already labeled two slope triangles here just by using these whole number values on the line. Um, it doesn't matter which slope triangle you use. We know that since these squares are um, every two from here to here is how far? Two, okay, and then if it's halfway across, it's one. So we know that this is one, and then two more is three, and then one more is four. So the rise over run is what we look at. And the rise is four, and how far over we had to travel to get to that point was two. And, sorry, and four over two is just a whole value of two. And we got positive um, because we're moving to the right and up each time. And if you look at this, this is an uphill angle. So it is a positive um, slope. So the correct answer choice for this was C, a slope of two. Um, for number five, my graph is cut off. Okay, so if you look at number five, sorry about my graph being cut off a little bit. Um, that works out. All right, so on number five, we'll just look at the small triangle. The intervals are still the same, two, four, six, eight, ten, and two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll just look at the small triangle here. We know that this is a vertical movement of four because it goes across two lengths of the square. And then this is... This is two across one square. Halfway is one, and on the other side is halfway. That's another one. So that's four as well. And so the rise and run are four divided by four, which is just one. And we see that it's positive because this line is moving upwards and to the right. So the correct answer choice is A. Okay, on number six, we have our two slope triangles. Um, labeled already. Um, these are still the same intervals. So if this is, if this line that's vertical is three lengths, three times two is six. So that's a length of six. And this horizontal movement is one, two, three, four, five, six total squares. So six times two is 12. So the rise is six and the run is 12. Six divided by 12 is one half. And I'm going to show you with a small triangle that it still say, it stays true even though you use a different proportion. So this vertical movement is one square, which is a length of two. And the horizontal is two squares, which is a length of four. And two over four is also one half. So it didn't matter which triangle you chose, you would get the same slope for either one. And so the correct answer choice on this one is D for number six. For number seven, okay, so we see that this line is leaning in the opposite direction, so we know that it is a negative slope. Okay, so we can eliminate some of our answer choices. We know it's not B and we know it's not C. So we know it's going to be between A or D. Now, if we look at our slope triangles that they created for us, this is halfway across, so that's a length of one. And then it's two full squares across, which is the length of four. So that is negative one over four. So the correct answer choice is D. Okay, 